Hi, my name is Chris from Chris PC World, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to share your phone screen, your tablet screen, and also your laptop screen to your TV. So you can mirror the display or share content to it. Let's take a look. So, the first method we're going to look at is connecting my tablet to my TV. Both devices are turned on, and both are connected to the same Wi Fi network. Now, this will vary slightly depending on the brand of tablet you're using, also on the brand of TV. Most TVs will be displayed automatically and once you press connect, it may pop up on the TV asking you to either accept or decline the connection. Obviously on that, you want to press accept. So to do this, swipe down from the top of the screen and then pull it down again so it displays all the options. On my tablet, you can see it's got a smart view button. Yours may say smart view, screen share, maybe different depending on the manufacturer. Press on smart view, it should come up with your TV when you press on that, you can see mine connect straight away. It is then mirroring my screen to the TV. So if we open up Google Chrome, you can see that is then mirrored on the TV in the background. Any content you show on the screen will then be displayed on the TV. This is great for sharing videos um, or pictures that are on your tablet. If you need to disconnect, press on the little icon and you can just press the disconnect button. The TV will then go back to normal. So this time we're gonna look at connecting your Windows laptop to your TV. There's two ways to do this. You can either go down to the bottom corner, press on it to bring up the notifications bar, and it will have a project option. If we press on this, you can see it now brings up different screen options, and at the bottom it says connect to a wireless display. If yours doesn't have this, you can go down, press on the start button, and you can type in wireless display. And there it says, connect to a wireless display. So press on that option. Down at the bottom it's highlighted, connect to a wireless display. Click on this, and then it should bring up the available devices. So my TV is a Samsung 7 series 55 inch. So you press on that. The laptop said it's trying to connect to your device, and now the TV shows that the device is trying to connect to it. On your TV, you need to press allow. TV is now trying to connect to your laptop. And you can see the screen has now been connected. Once it's connected, if you go back to the same screen icons, back on the project setting, you can either choose to duplicate your desktop or you can extend it. If we duplicate and go on the internet and open up Google, it mirrors exactly what's on your screen. If you're working from home, for example, and you want to increase your desktop size, you can go to Project, and then set it to Extend. This way you can have two different programs open. So on mine, if I open up File Explorer, I can then drag that onto the second screen. So I've got Google on one, and Files on the next. When you want to disconnect, Go to the top of your screen and you press the disconnect button. Now we're going to look at connecting your phone to the TV. This is slightly different. So I'm using the latest Google phone. This is a Google Pixel 4, but I've got a Samsung TV. So these won't directly communicate to each other. In the TV, I've got a Chromecast connected. That's plugged into one of the HDMI ports. Because the Chromecast is produced by Google, as is the phone, we can mirror the screen to it. To do this is similar to the tablet way. You need to unlock your phone, and then swipe down from the top of the screen. Again, pull the bar down so you can see all the options. Now the option isn't on the first page for me, so I need to swipe to the second page, and you can see I've got a screencast button. Press on the screencast button, and then it brings up the available devices that I can cast to. I've already got my Chromecast set up, and that is living room TV. Press on that, and press start casting. The TV channel should automatically change, and it will mirror exactly what is on my phone. So any applications I open up, such as Google, the phone, absolutely anything else, that should launch up there as well. You can share videos using this method as well. 
To disconnect, swipe down from the top of your phone, simply press on the disconnect button.